guys, my camera cut off. So this is going to be part two of the Cancer Love Tarot pop-up for, um, for the month of July, 2021. So we're gonna be doing Sibylla now. What you got what we got Ooh, okay I like to keep it on the side here all right so let's see um so with this deck it's the um yeah so the first card that came out is scholar all right so what spirit is saying is that you know there's someone who is in the process of going to school, applying for school, applying for an upgrade in some kind of a career move or certification, something that's going to um, help you take a step further, okay? Someone could possibly like to read or research a lot um, online or actual actual books, okay? Um, uh, someone, a spirit is saying or acknowledging someone who likes to study or who yeah, who, we're studying is big, okay? But Spirit is saying that, you know, um, becoming scholarly is going to be very important for you um, in this scenario, okay? You do have the size, okay? So there is a woman that is upset, okay? She's looking into the horizon. Um, there's someone who's not really content, okay? It could be a love lost, um, you know, something is not right, okay? And this woman is unhappy. Maybe this could be the ex, okay? Um, or maybe this could be you, okay? Even though it's a female, you know, um, you know, even masculines walk with feminine energy. So this could be you. The house card came to the side. So, you know, this is letting me know that something is up with your house. Some, something is up with your environment, your physical living environment, okay? You know, maybe it's too dark in there and you got to put night lights on, okay? And Spirit is saying, you know, definitely you should not be in the dark, okay? The other thing is, is that spiritually there could be something that's upsetting the environment that you definitely have to do a spiritual cleaning. You can mop the house out with ammonia. Make sure the windows are open so you don't pass out, <laughs> okay? Um, you can, you know, smoke the place out with sage, frankincense, and myrrh, copal. Okay, dragon's blood, three kings. Um, something is up with this house. It could be that the house, the place where you stay is not healthy for you. It's not a place for you to grow. It's not conducive to you growing and moving forward. Okay, you do have despair. Okay, and you have this man with their gun to the, with a gun to their head. So spirit is saying that there could be someone that's in emotional distress, emotional turmoil, okay? Um, I don't, you know, someone who, someone could be thinking about ending it all, okay? And, and Spirit is saying that there's other options, there's alternatives, there's people for you to talk to, there's things that could be done, there's, there's, there's always going to be other solutions to a problem. But Spirit is saying that there's someone in turmoil. You know, for some of you, there could have been someone that you knew um, that took their life, okay? Or someone that you knew whose life was taken by a gun, Okay, and they could be presenting themselves in this reading and announcing themselves to you and letting you know that they're here. Okay, you did get the um, the journey card, which came to the side. So spirit is saying that you know maybe someone's life ended too soon, someone took their life too soon, or um, that someone. This could be alluding to the fact of someone crossing over into the ancestral realm. Okay. Um, so you remember when I talked about an act of violence? So there could be someone in your love story, maybe their life possibly could have been taken by an act of violence or that their life could possibly be taken at some point in the future, okay? And their journey could be ending, okay? Because after that, we get the, um, the Widower card. We have the tombstone, we have the cemetery, okay? So, you know, Spirit is saying that, you know, there, there is going to be someone crossing over, okay? If they haven't crossed over already, 
there's someone to be there's someone that's going to be crossing over for some of you um, it could be a female that's crossing over okay um, it could have been a female that just crossed over okay and that female is letting you know that they're here present in this reading watching over this reading okay you do have the thought card but this thought card came reverse so it seems that someone is you know I'm feeling like someone is a wreck like there's uh, so much um, chaotic energy around them maybe someone's frantic someone's upset it could be as a result of this energy that happened to this person that someone just can't think they can't focus they're in a state of panic and that's why I'm saying you really need to go into my playlist click in the description and start working on those mantras okay to take any more cards because I don't want the reading to go much longer okay so I just I let the court cards fall where they are because for me there's significance in that I don't know about other readers but anyway imprisonment so here's this uh, you know jail card prison card coming up again okay so someone that you know someone in the love story could be getting locked up okay um on the flip side of that, someone who was locked up could be getting out, okay? That's a possibility. Or maybe someone who's locked up, their life could be taken in, in jail, like in prison. Something could happen, there could be an altercation, okay? Um, or maybe that was something that happened to them in the past, okay? You did get wealthy man, which came to the side, and you did get high honor. Okay, so someone's money uh, is going to be, someone's money and or reputation is going to be impacted somehow. And it's not going to be impacted in a positive way. Okay, um, someone's money could be failing. Someone could have done something that compromised their reputation. Well, what Spirit is doing is warning you, like be careful of doing something that could comp compromise your reputation. You know, because it talks about high honor, okay? I High honor talks about someone with a, a good reputation, an upstanding reputation, okay? But this reputation has been soiled or ha is at risk for being soiled, okay? And on top of that, you have change, okay? And you have this vehicle, you know, you have someone moving out. So there's possibly a breakup on the horizon. Maybe a spirit is saying it's time to move out into a new place, okay? Um, spirit is saying that there's change, change is imminent. And I told you that war, that tower moment, which is also basically revolution, that is change, okay? And change could be uncomfortable, okay? But change is coming if it hasn't already started, all right? And then finally, you have unexpected income, okay? So, you know, it could be one that money that you were expecting, because it came in the reverse, money that you were expecting doesn't come through. Okay, that's a possibility. The other scenario is, is that the money that comes through is going to be as a result of, um, I want to say an unsavory, unpleasant means, like through an inheritance, through the crossing over of someone, okay, which is not pleasant at all, you know, um, but spirit would be saying something about this money is going to be the way the money is gotten is not going to be pleasant. All right. Um, so let me let me try traditional tarot. Marchetti deck, I think. There's no other cards flips. Okay. All right. So spirit is showing the um, the Knight of Pentacles to the side. 
So the Knight of Pentacles is usually the slowest moving knight, okay? Things happen slowly. There's a person who's moving slowly, okay? Or the speed at which a relationship is happening is affected by this knight, okay? Um, but th what Spirit is saying is that this person that was initially moving slowly is now moving quickly, okay? Or the speed is, um, uh, what do you call it? The velocity is increasing, like things are speeding up, things are moving forward now, okay? Um, you do have the Justice card, okay, which came in the reverse, okay? So Justice, it talks about divine justice, it talks about karma, um, it talks about balance, it talks about legal issues, okay? But Spirit is saying this came in the reverse, so, you know, for one, it could be that someone is having legal issues, Okay, or that someone could be caught up in some kind of scam, scandal involving the law. Okay, and Spirit is warning you to be very careful um, of the people around you. Be very careful of a, a, a feminine energy that could get you in trouble. That could um, be uh, that could that could compromise the um, the justice or the outcome of of, of a scenario. Okay, a, a feminine energy. It could be a male. Too, what may it could be a male that walks with a feminine energy and they don't necessarily have to be gay, okay? Um, but it's it, there, there is something alluding to justice, okay? There's something that's not right that the scales are, um, uh, imbalanced in a state of imbalance, okay? You do have the Eight of Swords card, so the Eight of Swords card, which came reverse, Eight of Swords is typically like mental imprisonment. Like you tip, you, you imprison yourself. Okay. Um, a feeling trapped. All right. But this card came reverse. So it could be, you know, feeling trapped as a result of actual, uh, physical restrictions, not just a mental thing because, you know, the swords deal with mental things. Okay. But this could be as a result of your physical environment um, or institutions that could feel like they're trapping you. It could be a prison that could be the form of, of, of entrapment. It could be um, uh, business deals that could trap you, that you could be locked in because you owe people money. Or it could be a marriage that is, is imprisoning you through the institution of marriage, okay? It's something that is, it's not you doing it to yourself. It's an actual something around you that's causing the um, entrapment, okay? But spirit is saying, you gotta hold on and you gotta be strong and you gotta look to God. You, you gotta look to God. You see, she's looking up, okay? You're not gonna win this any other way, okay? You gotta start with yourself your spirit, your core, and work your way out in order to win the war, okay? Um, let me take this next deck here. This is another classic deck, classic tarot deck. can't make this up is another confirmation a double confirmation here all right <clears throat> hey guys keeping me uh, keep in mind when you watch these readings, even though it has a timestamp of July 2021, it's whenever you click on this reading, okay? And these readings don't just <laughs> talk about the month of July, <laughs> okay? Because in the spirit realm, that's on a whole different time, you know, time frame, okay? These readings can cover what's happening within these several days several weeks or several months okay it's not just confined to the month of july all right 
This can extend out to August, September, October, November. It could, it will play out. Trust. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Queen, the queen of coins. So the queen of coins came somewhat to the side. Okay. And you see that it's showing illumination. Okay. So the queen of coins represents wealth, represents someone who's going to have money. It represents stability. Okay. It came to the side, but this wealth and stability and abundance and love and happiness and, you know, all of the financial security, you ain't going to get it <laughs> until you work on your spiritual self. You see how it's illuminated on the top? If you don't have this and none of all this, the coins and all that <laughs> going to happen for you. Okay. I'm, I'm just being real. This is how I'm interpreting the message, right? So what spirit is saying is you really got to your gold mind, your wealth and your prosperity is not just the change in your pocket, the money in your bank, you know, the currency, whatever that currency may be. It is in here. It's in here. Okay. That's where your wealth is. So mantras for love mantras for protection, mantras to get rid of negative think thinking, mantras for prosperity. I mean, guys, there is an extensive menu that I have provided in the playlist for you to start doing that work. Start out with eight minutes, 10 minutes, one mantra, work your way up to two, three, and four. Okay. You know, I have God children that they have started this mantra practice and oh my God, they have developed like phenomenally within the last couple of months by doing this mantra work in spiritual baths. Okay. So look, the card right after that, you got the eight of swords again. So we know the eight of, the eight of swords is like, you know, mental feeling mentally entrapped, enslaved. But this card came to the side. So this is, again, it's things in, in someone's environment that are keeping someone enslaved. It could be the physical environment that you're in that you got to get out of. Because I'm seeing this and, you know, I'm feeling like the walls, like closing in. I'm feeling like, um, how you say, claustrophobic. <laughs> All right. It's something, look. And then there's a web, a spider web here. You guys got to be very careful. You got to be careful of not enslaving yourselves to chemicals, to people, to material things. Okay. There's something in your environment that you are a slave to. Okay. And spirit is trying to free you from that. All right. You got the six of swords, which came reverse. So six of swords is typically moving to calmer waters, but spirit is saying you ain't moving to no calmer waters. <laughs> okay. You better put on your seatbelt and get ready for the ride. Okay. Ain't going to be no smooth waters. Spirit is saying that there are things that are going to be coming up now in the next several months that you better, like I said, put on your seatbelt and get ready. And that means getting it's, physically ready, getting your physical space ready, getting your mental space ready through those mantras and, and your spiritual space ready through the mantras, the prayer and the, the meditation and the yoga. Now you got the ace of wands, but it came reverse. All right. So this ace of wands here, the ace of wands came reverse. So the ace of wands talks about passionate new beginnings. But like I said, this is going to be a little turbulent, okay? And the, the thing that's going to save you, the thing that's going to help you to win this war, this turbulence, you know, to help you weather the storm. You know, have you ever seen the movies where, you know, there's a tornado in the distance and people are walking and the wind is blowing and it's like, you know, the force of the wind is pushing against them and they're trying to force their way forward to walk and they can't, like, they're walking against the current, guys, this is what I'm seeing. So get ready. Um, also for some, for the males in particular, this card is with this dragon, 
this is indicating STD to me. This is how I'm reading it. No other reader might read it like that. In the context of this reading, that's what I'm seeing. So you better <laughs> make sure your private part is functional, okay? Because something could be going on with that. You know, I don't know if it's impotence, uh, 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 STD possibly something is going on um, and for some of the older men you may want to check on your you know get a prostate check okay um, all right so you have the moon to the side so the moon you know is talks about hidden things but it came to the side things are going to be illuminated okay you know there if you do the spiritual work there's going to be a spiritual awakening for you Okay, things that were hidden will will be illuminated, all right? Um, and the waters are going to be very um, beneficial to you. There's a magic in the water, especially the ocean water. The ocean water is going to offer you cleansing. Um, it's going to clean you. So if you can go to the beach, it's really beneficial to do that. Make sure you go with someone. There's a power in the waters. The water is going to be a powerful thing for you. The tides of the ocean very powerful the the phase of the moon this full moon the full moons for you are going to be pulling you in the strongest way ever i can't tell you okay so if full moons have an effect on you already get ready okay between the full moon and the ocean my head is tingling right now there is going to be a pull emotionally you may feel like a wreck you may be like feeling like a uh, bouts of joy and happiness where you want to jump through the roof and then you may feel the lowest of lows but this there's a lot going on spiritually there's a lot of um, phenomena that's happening and you guys got to brace yourself because you are cancers are probably one of the most sensitive signs in the the um the uh astrological i guess how you say pantheon um Okay, so let me just, I have just a couple of more cards that I want to just see really quickly. Okay. So the first card that came out is the green man. The forces of nature favor you. Okay, but this came reverse. Okay, so it's something... You know, when I see this, it could be a, 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 a abuse of the herbs. You know what I'm talking about, right? There could be someone that's abusing the herbs. It, that could be abusing marijuana. Could be smoking too much, okay? Um, because this is the earth. This is um, the earth energy, Mother Earth. Um, the earth energy that owns the herbs, but the, you know, I'm just feeling like there's an abuse of, of, of this herb. So just be very careful. Monitor the herbs that you are taking. You definitely gotta do spiritual baths, um, okay? Especially with that, you know, Grompe um, Saragüe, um, okay? I'm hearing uh, Ruda, but you gotta be careful with Ru, okay? Um, especially if you know you're pregnant or you have the potential to be pregnant. Don't do a Ruta bath. You could do the Rompe Sarague bath, okay? The next card you have is the serpent. A sly and subtle approach is needed, okay? But the serpent to me is that you got to watch your back. You got to watch your back because you could be tempted by something that could destroy your whole situation, okay? There could be people around you that can't be trusted as well. All right, so let me, I'm going to pull from my 95 South deck. This is something I'm adding. Okay. So my 95 South deck is, you know, my ode to the South, you know, very important people in my life are from the South. So, and I love the South. I love Southern food, the Southern states, aside from the history. Um, but anyway, the first card that came up is Scarface. So what's this mean? 
So this was also based on uh, my ode to the 80s. So Scarface was, was the big film, okay, in the 80s, okay? And it talks about a drug dealer, a hustler, a cocaine dealer. There's someone um, in this love story that lives, that's, li that, that's about that life, okay? That is a hustler, that used to be a hustler, that was out there in the streets dealing with cocaine and drugs and strip clubs, the whole kind of Miami night nightclub scene vibe, someone who walks the line between legal and illegal, okay? This is someone in the love story, okay? You know, the next card is I'm Still Standing by Elton John, okay? And so this was a song that was big in the 80s. If you think this fool can never win, well, look at me now. So Spirit is saying that maybe if you were a hustler or maybe you were dating a hustler, you know, whatever it is that you went through, you are still here today. Okay, and it's by the grace of God that you made it. Okay, um, this is what spirit is saying. Then you have right here waiting for you, Richard Marks. Okay, whatever you do, I'll be right here waiting for you. I hear the laughter and I taste the tears. So this is someone, like I said, there's this whole X energy, <laughs> return of the X by you know, Maya. Um, this energy of an X, someone's reminiscing, you know, Someone can smell the person, taste the person, hear the person, feel the person. Like they're reminiscing about the moments that they had with this person to the point where they can feel this person so close to them spiritually. That's almost like they're manifesting this person back into their life through this kind of like sensory experience, okay? So this could be pulling this ex back in the picture or this ex could be feeling this way about you. And then spirit said, hush your mouth. So someone is talking too damn much and spirit is saying, you need not to be talking about some private business, okay? Cause that's not gonna work out well for you. And I'm saying that the candle is jumping and ain't no win right now, <laughs> okay? So spirit is saying you're doing too much talking and you need to hush your mouth cause it's not gonna bode well for you, all right? Um, so let me pull, I have a people deck here. There was a card that flipped. Uh, we have a description of someone in this love story. Ooh, okay. That's too many cards. many cards again Okay, I'm gonna pull one more card. Hmm, okay. All right, so guys, this is the deck that gives descriptions more in depth of the people involved in your love story. These could be friends that are very close to you, someone that is in your energy, all right, if it's not you, okay? So there's someone um, with blonde hair that figures prominently. It's someone that had maybe has like, you know, uh, blonde streaks, a blonde wig, a blonde weave, someone with blonde hair that's figuring prominently here. And right after that blonde hair comes the government and police. So it's something to do with the government. It could be like an investigation and the police that are popping up here as it relates to this person with the blonde hair. Um, you know, you did get the Scarface card in the beginning. So I'm sensing it's someone who could be a hustler who may be dealing with someone with blonde hair 
okay? And, you know, they definitely have to watch their back because the government and the police somehow are intertwined. The government, as it relates to this person, and maybe the feds, the, the FBI, or whatever, there's something to do with this scenario of Scarface, this person with blonde hair, the government and the police. Right after that card, there's someone with a fade or low cut hair. There's someone where, you know, they, they're, <clears throat> this could be you, this could be someone, someone with a very low cut fade that hair that's cut close to their head, or they could be bald. Okay. As it relates to this person. So, you know, this could be a, another person connected to this Scarface, per, Scarface person, this person with the blonde hair, the government and the police. But spirit is saying that there is someone with a fade or low cut hair or bald hat. All right. And then right after that, it's braids or locks. So there is someone else in this love story. This is, this is now, so there's like either two or three different people in this love story here um, that, that's related to this issue. There is someone who has braids or locks. This could be a male or a female, okay? Um, there's someone who are, has braids or locks that is connected to the government and the police and the person with the blonde hair and scar face. And this person with the fade, the low cut hair, the bald head, you know, is another person in this scenario. This person could be a spectator. This person could know this person with the braids or locks that's connected to the government, police, and scar face and this blonde hair. <laughs> Let's see how it plays out. Okay, I wanna hear in the comments. You know, if this, if these scenarios pertain to you, if you know someone that's going through that, don't give names, okay? Because we don't need anyone after you. Um, let's see if Spirit will close now with the Archangel. Okay. That's it. All right. So spirit is, is, is giving you spiritual understanding, knowledge and wisdom. Okay. Spirit is giving you the mathematics. Okay. So the mathematics for today, Archangel Raziel, I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols helping you to understand the spiritual truths. Spirit is talking to you. They're saying, hello, <laughs> we are giving you the 411, the knowledge <laughs> and wisdom you need to be able to move forward, all right? You got this card reverse, okay? And this is talking about the moon cycles again. Y'all, the moon is your best friend. I'm telling you, it is to your benefit to know the moon forwards, backwards, inside out, to study the tides, to study the animals that are, 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 are um, uh, connected to the tides the sea turtles, the crabs, all of the the, um, the the ocean life that is affected and impacted by the tides. This is your thing, you know? And I'm saying this, my right eye is jumping. I don't know if someone is uh, oceanography that, that works on the ocean or the waters, the tides, the, you know, does environmental work, you know, um, and my head is tingling. Spirit is saying you got to study the moon because someone is... For those people who are connecting to this, the spirit is saying that the moon is gonna is very powerful manifesto for you. And it's not for you to be afraid of, and it's it's for you to keep your emotions in check so that you can maximize the power um, of manifestation through the moon and not be scary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't be scary, okay? Um, so spirit is saying moon cycles. And who's this archangel that's speaking? Honey out. So notice how the moon affects your energy manifestations and capitalize on these cycles. You're not doing it. <laughs> okay. You're not doing it. The card came reverse. That's how I'm reading it. Whether other readers read it reverse or not, I don't care. What I'm saying is y'all are not doing the most that you could do. Okay. And when people say you're doing the most, in this case, you ain't doing the most. You need to do the most <laughs> and connect to the spirit. Pay attention to the phases of the moon. You should always know when the full moon is. Know, know when the new moon is. Do your manifestations, your crystal work, your prayers. I mean, guys, this is when your, your magic and your power is amplified. 
This has been your Love Tarot pop-up for the sign of cancer for July 2021. Guys, you have been gifted with this ultra long reading, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm really busy, so this reading may have to carry you over for another month through August. I'm just keeping it real, um, but I will definitely be back. If you have any questions or if you'd like a, a, a private reading, you can definitely email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. Um, and please like the video, definitely share, and certainly subscribe. Ciao.